If you want to feel old for a second, Plexico Burris had an impressive NFL career, winning a Super Bowl and finishing with over 8,000 total receiving yards. Burris had the game-winning touchdown grab in Super Bowl 42. Three receivers right, Burris left. Manning calling signals, takes the snap, looks left, lobs it left, Burris is wide open, touchdown Giants! To help the New York Giants beat the undefeated New England Patriots 17-14. Well, now his son is a rising senior and just committed to Notre Dame as a member of the 2025 recruiting class. Man has time flown. So let's talk about Elijah Burris. But before we get into this, if you enjoy college football content like this, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Also, let me know who your favorite former NFL player is in the comment section below. Elijah Burris is from the great state of New Jersey and currently plays high school football at DePaul Catholic, located in Wayne, New Jersey. Elijah is the son of former NFL wide receiver Plexico Burris. Jesus, I feel old now. Plexico Burris was the 8th overall pick of the 2000 NFL Draft by the Pittsburgh Steelers via Michigan State where he was an All-American and broke many records along the way. Plexico played in 12 NFL seasons with the Steelers, New York Giants, and New York Jets, finishing with 553 receptions for 8,499 yards in the NFL. He is most remembered by many Giants fans for making the game-winning touchdown catch in Super Bowl 42 when the New York Giants upset the then-undefeated New England Patriots. Elijah's dad is not the only athlete of the family, though. His mother, Tiffany, is a former track star at Penn State. Like I previously mentioned, Elijah played high school football at DePaul Catholic, which is located 17 miles away from Old Giants Stadium, and plays a brutal conference schedule that includes New Jersey powerhouses, Bergen Catholic, and Don Bosco, among others, making it one of the toughest high school football schedules in the nation. Elijah is an all-around athlete who also impresses on the basketball court. From a young age, Burris had a love for football and just wanted to be like his father. He chose to become a wide receiver and wore his father's number 17 jersey. He put in hard work even as a young kid and became a contributor for DePaul Catholic as a freshman. He showed off his athleticism and versatility and just impressed a lot of coaches. Burris would be hampered by injuries during his sophomore year, which really hurt his recruiting rankings throughout most of the process. This made him an almost under-the-radar prospect with head coach Nick Campanell telling Sports Illustrated, His rise has been incredible to watch. Elijah missed almost all of his sophomore season with a groin injury. There were a couple times where he tried to come back, and there were a couple setbacks. We thought he was going to be back for the playoffs, but then he had another injury. It was a frustrating year for him. The injury caused him to be an unranked recruit for a period of time, and unlike other young athletes who are related to NFL stars, the offers did not come pouring in for Elijah. But then he would have an impressive junior year, where he developed into a valuable pass catcher for DePaul. When DePaul Catholic took on Bergen Catholic in Oradell, New Jersey on September 30th, Burris hauled in seven receptions for 117 yards and a touchdown. His score came late in the third quarter with the ball at the 12-yard line. In DePaul Catholic's playoff opener against St. Mary's Rutherford, the junior had a second career 100-yard game and a win. He turned two of the receptions into touchdowns, including one that went for 62 yards, where he showed off his jets as he outran multiple defenders into the end zone. His father, Plexico, would post a 62-yard touchdown on his Instagram, and it quickly blew up as former NFL players Thomas Jones and Corey Webster and Pro Football Hall of Famer Edron James all commented on the post, impressed with the young wide receiver. The Paul Catholic would lose to Red Bank Catholic 14-7 in the state title game, which was played at MetLife Stadium. Elijah finished his season with 29 receptions for 439 yards and 5 touchdowns, averaging 15.1 yards per reception. Elijah is expected to have an even better senior year as many expect DePaul Catholic to rely more on the rising senior wide receiver more this year. At the time of recording, Elijah Burris, according to 24-7 Sports Composite, is a three-star recruit who is the 17th best player in the state of New Jersey and 517th best player nationally. He has received 11 different Division I offers from likes of Cincinnati, Duke, James Madison, Notre Dame, and Temple. He would commit to Notre Dame over Duke on February 11th, becoming the 15th recruit in Notre Dame's 2025 recruiting class. Notre Dame had offered Burris a month earlier on January 11th, and he took a trip out to South Bend a few weeks later, where he fell in love with the school. Coming in at 6'1 and 170 pounds, there's a lot to love when it comes to Elijah Burris' game. 
He's an elite route runner with a great understanding of leverage and how to manipulate defenders to create separation. Campanella told SI, The main thing that stands out about Elijah is his route running ability. He is a very quick player and his attention to detail. He also is pretty versatile. He can play in the slot or on the outside. I think the outside is where he has the most upside. In terms of speed, Elijah is probably our fastest player and we have a lot of speed on the team. What makes it even more impressive is he still has so much more left to grow to become an even greater wide receiver. He's also great when it comes to tracking the deep ball. Some concerns and things he may need to work on is his need to get a lot stronger, but that will come when he gets to a college weight room. This is evident because he sometimes struggles to break tackles. He also is not the best at working back to the ball when timing is off or plays break down. They are both fixable things, but are still important things to point out. There will be a lot more pressure on Elijah Burris this upcoming year now that he has burst onto the radar as a Notre Dame commit and is the son of a former NFL star while also having his team rely on him more, but his coach is not worried telling SI he's handled all the attention really well. Elijah stayed humble and grounded throughout the process. If anything, the attention has made him focus even harder. He has a big time ability, but I'm not sure that he even believed it until recently. He's really starting to gain confidence and understand how good he can be. I grew up watching Plexico Burris on the Giants and officially feel old working on the video, but I cannot wait to see what Elijah is able to do down the road. What do you think? Who should I cover next? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out one of my other videos YouTube thinks you will love right here. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and as always, remember to embrace the grind.